What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are here in Pasadena, California, here with Hayes, my girlfriend. And we are here to look at some of the most iconic film locations of the original 1978 Halloween. Now, this is a video that I've been wanting to do for a long time, and because of her, we had the opportunity to do that today. And we're going to be going to see a lot of the iconic houses that were used in the film. We're going to be showing you guys a little bit of the clips of when they were used in said film. And we're ultimately just doing this because Halloween is coming to Halloween Horror Nights this haunt season 2022. So we're doing it in preparation for that to get us a little excited to see some of the iconic sets. Uh, we are literally right around the corner from the Myers house, which is not in the original location. It actually has been moved and they preserved the house. Um, but it's still the original house used in the film. Uh, they, they try to keep it the same color palette, so that's a lot of fun. Very much looking forward to this. Have you ever, you've been here before, huh? I have. She has been here before. I've never been to the Myers house, so this is going to be the first time me seeing it in person with my own two eyes. And I thought I'd bring you guys along in case you've never seen any of the Myers locations for the original Halloween 1978. So let's go around the corner, let's check out the Myers house, and let's see what they, uh, let's see if Michael himself is there. Because it is getting close to Halloween. Or he's still locked up in Haddonfield. Or he's off killing Jamie Lee Curtis. <laughs> Who knows? But let's go check it out. Right in front of the... Right here. Right next to the Myers house. And Mr. Michael is just chilling on the roof up there. With his pumpkins and whatnot. With the big giant skeleton from Home Depot. Too. Gotta love the Home Depot skeleton. But Myers is just chilling right in the backyard of his house which is literally right here is the Myers house now I do remember when like about a year or two ago I remember Logan came out here and there was like an autograph meet and greet John Carpenter was here I think it was all through this backyard right here um, there's a big line here a lot of the people from the film were here that were involved with the film were all here signing and as we approach the front of the Michael Myers house from the original gallery, the, like exhibit. Was it in there? No, like they Oh, was it through them? Yeah. But like it was they here. They hosted it yeah. here. But they have a sign right there too. There's the Sugar Mountain Gallery. It's right next to the Myers house. Art gallery behind the Myers house featuring behind the scenes photos from John Carpenter's Halloween. So that was that. And then here's an event coming up right here. Welcome to Haddonfield 8. The eighth time they've done this. So that's going to be fun. It's on their website. You can get all the info there. But right in front of me, right here, is the original Michael Myers house from Halloween 1978, which is now a uh, financial services building. So they actually moved the house. It never was right here. It's actually on a corner now, if you guys can see, right next to a train. There's, some, uh, there's a street right there. There's residential down the road right here. But Right here is where Michael Myers came home. Now, if you guys know anything about the film, you know that Laurie Strode's dad was a realtor and he was trying to sell this home until Michael Myers came back to Haddonfield and ultimately caused a lot of havoc there. We've seen this many times in the film. Obviously, the most important scene is seeing him come home Seeing him actually in the house, specifically at that door right there. Not at that exact same door, but he was at that door right there. All the way up. In the, mil in the movie, it looked a little bit more run down, but they did a good job of kind of preserving the color and still making it recognizable for everyone to come in. And I believe when the business is open, obviously people are allowed to come in if they're here for the financial services. Um, and I know sometimes... I've seen it in the past, some, some people that work here will be cool and let people inside to see the entire house. But just seeing it with my own two eyes, it's, it's something brilliant and I thought I'd never see this. We got a train coming this way, but here is the Myers house. Absolutely beautiful.
Now, ironically, there's the Myers house right there. This is Mission Street in Pasadena, California. Now, we were about to leave, and then we were given, from Sugar Mountain Gallery, all the locations to the Halloween place, which we already kind of did our research and knew we were, but as I was filming the Myers house across the street over there, I kept looking at this intersection because this intersection looked very familiar. I, I kept like looking back at it a couple times, but in my head I was like, no, that can't be it. This is the intersection where Lori and her friend pull around the corner They would have stopped right here. Now, it is now currently a restaurant, but it would have been, in 1978, the hardware store in which Michael Myers broke in, stole the knife, stole the rope, stole the mask, and would have went on his killing spree that night. Uh, somebody broke into the hardware store, probably kids. You blame everything on kids. Well, now all they took was some Halloween mask, a rope, and a couple of knives. So, if you know from the movie, Lori turns this corner, she parks right there in the front. The officer talks to them, explains what's going on, which was literally right here. And another fun fact of that film, one of the only licensed songs used in said film was Don't Fear the Reaper, which they are playing and smoking weed at the same time. Who would have thought, right? Unfortunately, it's right next to the train, which is <laughs> slated to come somewhere, but I just thought it was cool. And then you would have saw Loomis come, follow the girls to get a little idea of what was going on and what Michael was doing there to kind of follow Michael's lead, his trace, his, his trail. Sheriff. Pardon me, I'm uh, Loomis, Dr. Sam Loomis. Dr. Lee Bracken. I, I'd like to have a word with you if I could. Well, maybe a few minutes. I... And then if you paid close attention closely in that film, after this train passes, I'll explain it. But if you pay attention closely in the film, Michael, very, very sneaky, drives around the corner as Loomis is looking at the store and passes right by Loomis. And that's when Loomis turns around. Didn't even know he passed right by him. So this was really cool. It was a two for one location for us, literally right across the street from the Myers house. So if you guys are ever here to check it out, this is the area where Michael Myers broke into the store so he could steal his supplies for what he needed for Halloween night. So right across the street, we're now, it's a senior citizen center and a public library of South Pasadena, is the iconic location for Laurie Strode's house used in the Halloween 1978 film. Now, you've seen this house a few times throughout the film. The first time you see it is actually her walking to school. And she actually goes down this road and heads all the way down. I think when they transition, they go to a different street, probably somewhere different in Pasadena. But this is the house that she worked at. The car would have been right there with the sign on the back that says Strode Realtor. And yeah, this is where she came and went. She left. She came home from school. This is Lori Strode's house. Now, in the film, you only see the facade of the house. I don't think they actually use the interior of it they may have i haven't done that much research but you see the facade for sure and this is a very recognizable house especially with the two door or the two garage uh driveway and everything obviously it's been modernized been repainted but this is the house where it all went down where she walked away from school down the street so our next location is actually little tommy doyle's school now you guys might recognize this scene as he's running out from the bullies right there, teasing him that the boogeyman is going to get him. But little did he know, he would come out right there and come, and come in contact with the, his first contact of the night of the boogeyman. So this is where little Tommy Doyle went to school. Michael Myers would have been here, kind of like lingering and stuff. He was walking, coming from this way. Now at the time of the filming of the movie, it was a chain link fence. Now they have switched, they have then switched it to a metal fence. Um, maybe so many people were jumping in, getting the same thing I'm doing, but this is really cool. Um, I don't think this playground was here too, or if it was, I don't think it was fenced off like it is now. 
but this is the exact school where Tommy Doyle was getting bullied and this is the hallway where he would come down and then run into the shape right in that spot so right here is Linda's house from Halloween 1978 right next to the hedgehog wall literally right there so in the movie you see her go into this house and then they walk and Michael stalks them right there so that's cool all in one place Linda's house you see this very briefly in the film she just kind of walks into it real quick but still cool to see it's right next to where Michael stalks them so right here down this sidewalk you would see Lori and her friend walking down here and Michael would have been standing right there. Peeking out, looking at them, stalking them. And then he would have peeked back in. And from my assumption, probably hauled ass down there. <laughs> Cause you don't see him after her friend comes. Hey creep. And checks there's no one here so we are right outside Tommy Doyle's house if you guys know Tommy Doyle he was one of the children that Lori babysitted I believe she actually babysitted him at this house if not the other house the Wallace house maybe I think it was the Wallace house but this is Tommy Doyle's house we were just at his school later in the night because we had to drive from Pasadena to Los Angeles but this is the Tommy Doyle residence that you see in the original Halloween 1978 it looks pretty much the same as what the pictures I've seen there's probably been some modern updates over the years but hey man Tommy Doyle right so ironically right across the street from the Doyle house is the Wallace house literally right across the street this was the Wallace house right here. And this, I believe, is where a lot of the action went down. Obviously, it looks a little bit more modernized this 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 year, but in 1978, it looked completely different than what it looks like now. Help! Somebody help me, please! Somebody help! Oh, God, help me! But this is the Wallace house, and it looks looks like how it did in the movie. This would have been the scene where we would have seen Michael chasing Lori out of the house and went to Tommy's house, which the Myers house was in Pasadena. This was in Los Angeles. So you could see with filming this, this was a lot of work for them to do traveling by this place. Not too far, honestly. It's about a 30 minute drive from each other, but you know, different nights called for different shoot locations. It made it seem like it was all in one location, but the Doyle house, and the Wallace house are in Los Angeles, everything else, South Pasadena. But man, this is just cool to see a piece of history right here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we are literally sitting outside the Wallace house right now. We're at the final stop for, of course, our Halloween film locations. We didn't get, obviously, we probably didn't get all of them, but we got the, the big ones that you see throughout the film. Um, if you really pay attention to that film, the majority of it takes place in between the streets and whatnot. So one place could jump to another place you know, there's a lot of like running and walking around to different locations and stuff in the film. So we just wrapped everything up. It's been a great time. I want to give a special shout out to my girlfriend right here next to me. She uh, introduced us to Sugar Mountain Gallery, which is located right next to the Myers house in South Pasadena. Uh, so go check that video out if you guys haven't seen it. But um, she was very sweet enough to join me along, join along with me. I can't speak tonight. Um, to do these filming locations. Something that I've been wanting to do on Nights of Horror for some time and I felt that right now was the perfect time being that Halloween 1978 is coming to Halloween Horror Nights this year. So might as well give you guys a little film history and whatnot. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys want to see more of these videos of filming locations around the Los Angeles area, um, leave a comment down below. We'd be happy to go out and film some more because there's, I guarantee you, a lot more locations to go film. But other than that, I'm Anthony. That's my girlfriend, Hayes. This is the Knights of Horror. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, the bell notification be where every time we put up a new video, leave this video a like and leave some comments down of what you thought of all these locations. And I will see you guys in the fog.